Mm, it's a very dicey spot to just call, I feel like. I think we want to jam. Don't get eight. Don't get eight. This would be too sick if you actually had it here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is a, a really exciting run from my past Sunday grind. I played for 16 hours. It was actually my longest session I've ever played. Um, I was playing this one tournament off stream, or two tournaments off stream for, you know, eight or nine hours and uh, fired it up for the deep run. So that's why, you know, the footage kind of starts around the final two tables, but this is the most amount of money I've played for in quite a long time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this run. Let me know if you did in the comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one. We have a deep run, man. 15 players left. This Sunday special, 215. A lot of money up top. Sitting in fourth currently, so pretty good stack at the moment. So we have 3 million. Leader's on 4.2. Leader is at my table with 60 big blinds. So nobody, nobody's super deep. And... I mean, there is some short stacks, 15, 10, 10 at the other table. Um, defend looks pretty good. Three bet doesn't look terrible either, but I don't think we want to do an insane amount of three bidding here. Especially for like 40, like this, my non all in three bet range is not like super robust for value. Like I'm not doing it with ace 10 suited, king queen suited, like it's pretty polar. Pretty happy to just call a lot. Sort of same thing with the flop. I'm going to play a lead here. What's up, Jack B? And I think River will play check. Check the side. So they played quite a small bet on the flop, just calling turn against small bet. Had King Jack, nice. I think I'll go for a three bet here. I mean, call is not too bad either. I like the three bet, though. Let's go. Two for two since starting up the stream. That's nice. Um, okay. Okay, three out of thirteen. I, I think I think it's a good raise. I think it's a good raise. Don't need to get punty. We can just raise fold against three bets. That's fine. Against these two kind of like middling short stacks, suited aces, suited kings, pretty good opens. At least the big stack's in the big blinds, so. That's a bit better, you know, if the big stack was on the button, I might not want to play the king five. Might just give it up, but it feels like a fine open. One more ladder and we'll have a profitable day locked up. Uh, min raise sizing, yep, one will defend. Mm. Wow, we get the rare check check and turn to Paris, so I guess just... Uh... Yeah, I mean, I guess we just have license to go for two streets. I don't think checking does enough for us to consider it. Um, I think it's easy enough to get a nice big two streets against ace -X. I think if they have pocket sevens, they probably check twice. They don't start betting. So that part of the range is probably just going to stay passive. Like if they have a pocket sevens check or something like that. All right, I'm going to play a four bet here. They, they went quite large, four and a half X in ICM. People usually size down, but I don't know. We don't we don't get to overthink Ace King. We just send it here, and and that's fine. Oh, please, please don't have a monster. Just one time in a deep run here. They're actually tanking, which I mean, you'd think it's pretty polar range, you know, like not a lot of Queen Jack suited in there, but. I don't know, maybe it's like a pocket 10, or they would have called out pocket 10s probably, but... Okay, nice. Take that one down. Call the shove here. They're the clear short stack. Nobody else is really close. If they have 12 big blinds, it's not even that good, but I think, you know, once we get down to 8, you know, it's got any pair. Can have, like, ace two suited. So, hmm. Just trying to convince myself for sure I want to call. Oh, they call. I think fold now is good. Definitely can have traps in there. If I could, could, if I could confirm they never had a trap, and they were shoving aces and kings and stuff, I don't hate a shove either. But fold looks good because I, I don't even really want to get it in against this range here. All right, Blotters takes another hit. Can raise call either of these players. 
Prefer not to face a jam from the big blind. We can call, but like... With the stacks the way they are... I don't expect to see ace three very much. Some ace jack, some ace ten. Some players just love shoving, so they'll shove like... Some players just love shoving, so they'll just have broadways and stuff in there too, but... I'm also just very happy with this flop here. Size in the turn. I think ace queen still triple barrels here. We cover by a lot, and against the big blind range, there's just. I think my ace is just a bit too strong to check back here. It's a board we want to bluff on a lot. We block a, he a key hard. We block queen jack for like the deadly st stuff, you know, like. It's a pretty clean value bet, and uh, just hope we don't get snapped. Good news is, if they roll over King Deuce right now, we still have chips. <laughs> so that's good, but we just want that hero call, man. That ace-5, that ace-7, that king-queen. Just want that hero call, man. I mean, obviously, they have a lot of combos of ace-x that we beat here. Okay, take down a nice pot. We don't hate that result either. Technically, you are the chip leader because you put that one big blind in the pot, so it's no longer his. Yeah, I guess you could look at it that way. I kind of look at it like it's his until I take it away from him. Because if everyone folds, wow. Because if everyone folds, it would be his, right? Fuck. <sighs> Four bet against under the gun, under the gun one. Ah, fuck. I mean, they're tied. They're basically like tied for second, third. And I mean, it, the thing is, it's not a bad spot to have like the ace fives, the ace fours, but like, it's probably just super nutted, honestly. Do we want to call off 35? I mean, we have, what, seven big blinds left if we lose. If we call and win, we have big chip lead. Uh, I mean, call and lose, we're not fully out. Call and win, we have big chip lead. Fuck. Raise under the gun, three bet. Uh, this is not super simple. What does ace queen do? What does ace queen do? Does ace queen just happily shove? I think I, I kind of assumed ace queen is folding, but what does ace queen suited here do? I mean, against these positions, raise three bet. Do they four bet? Is that it? They're just all in. That's I don't know. It's kind of a crazy fold, but kind of not. This is a semi gross spot here too. This one, but. Three bets to 5.9. Every time I look at these, I like shove is the response you're supposed to come up with. With these ace king, ace queens, ace jacks, suited aces. Oh, that's good. I would have probably folded uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> All right, we just lost two players. Final table time, man. It's the final table of the 215 special. Let's go. So we got 5,000 locked up for the final eight. Uh, we're covered here. We'll play a limp. There's a very clear short stack. All the ladders are pretty decent. I mean, even, even eight to seventh is 1,500 bucks. So they will be respected to some degree. I mean, obviously, we have 5K locked up. First is 50. It's a big jump. But All right. It's funny. Somebody in the chat said, like, once analyzed, probably a good fold. But <laughs> I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like once you analyze all the combos and the price and, like, the, the future game, like, I feel like, uh, I feel like it could go the other way. All right. Check all the flop. Check the turn. 
I think we usually call twice here. We have, like, our outs are good. A king, jack, spade are all good outs. And their bluffs can come from some pretty trash stuff here, like jack four, jack three, eight, nine, nine, ten with a spade. Like, they're going to have just so much bullshit here. So I just play check call, check call. If we improve, we call. If we don't, we don't. Very simple strategy. We don't need to go crazy. We can get there. We beat bluffs. It's like... Seems like they want to triple, though, unfortunately. You know why? You know why I want to call just because. Uh, I just feel like they'd be greedier with a six, and like I don't know if they're triple barreling a five. I feel like they might be greedier with a flush. <sighs> I mean, my plan was to check call, check call, check fold, but like bet flop big, barrel big. Like it'd be a really nice triple barrel with a five. I just don't know if it's actually a thing if, if they're actually doing it. I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna follow my initial plan. Okay, so we start the final table. We lose. What did we lose? Like five bigs? We started with 42, so we lost about six bigs. Mmm, jacks, okay. Should be a pretty tight range. I'm gonna. Hmm. Fuck, I hate all the options. Like, I don't want to 3-bet fold against this guy. I don't know if I want to 3-bet stack off, honestly. But also flatting with Danny G, big stack, and the big blind here. And just playing out of position against the two big stacks. Feels wrong. Goes for the squeeze. Luckily, I'm not all in here. So, we have fold equity and a good hand. Fold equity and a good hand. I think we just send it with jacks. Also, how perfect is this spot? You know what I mean? Like, honestly, it, man, I'd be, it'd be so nasty if they had it. Um, do they have worse pairs for non all in? Mm, it's a very dicey spot to just call, I feel like. I think we want to jam. Fuck. Don't get eight. Don't get eight. This would be too sick if you actually had it here. Don't get eight. It's a good sign, right? I feel like their calling range still does, like, pretty good against us, though. Like, I feel like they're not going to have nines for non to 12 too often. Folds an ace. We love it. We fold out their ace. That's fine. We're up to 55. We have to... tied for the chip lead. We don't have to run it. I I'm happy with it, man. I feel like flop betting in these spots is usually very strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Wow, a one-outer. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is a double knockout. That is a one-outer. Just like that, we have 9,000 locked up. Wow, that was that was pretty nasty, man. King 9, we're going to open. We like our hand for now, for sure. Um, I think uh, plan of attack on the flop. I like some different sizings. What are the stacks here? 26, 20, 28. Oh, I wish I could feel more confident about King-9 here. I guess we just call off. Ah, pretty sick. Pretty sick. Fuck yeah. Yes, man. Let's go. Oh my god, that's a big pot. This spot's sick, right? Because in ICM with these stacks, like I'm not like I like I call because I want to believe that they have this. But at the same time, I'm kind of a fish because I don't, I don't know. Like, part of me doesn't believe that, like, in ICM, 6-8 check raises, 9-8 check raises. Like, these hands with the even stacks just have, I don't know. They have good equity. They can check call. They can check call. Uh, really nice to run into a 9-8 type hand, 7-8 type hand, you know, 10-6. Just all these kind of, like, pair plus gutter type hands. Like, really nice to run into something like that. 
Wow. Okay. More poker to play. We're going to 3-bet here. Wow. Sick result. Really good result. Let's hope it's not short-lived there. Bluff it. Bluff it with the ace-4. Not a big fan of 3-bet. I like collar jam. I like collar shove. I think we're okay playing an all-in here. There's some room to go an all-in, but I'm okay with this. Guess we call uh, Danny G. This is a huge pot here. Really huge pot. Hand does a little too well, in my opinion. Wow. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Huge, huge. We retain the chip lead. Four left. 16 Gs. All right, nice. Just easy. Race call. Very interesting. We should see this hit their, their calling range pretty hard. I think... Hmm... Fuck. <laughs> Guys, I would give 10 big blinds for a time bank right now. Yeah, I think I think betting is pretty key. We get so much value from draws and jack X and worst 10x or whatever. And uh, they're definitely incentivized to play quite passive with the shorter stack. With a lot of draws, a lot of hands. Even like some jack 9 type shit wants to just check. Probably. 8-5 offsuit is kind of a bad omen after the last time, but... Stick to my guns. Wow. This guy finally defends. This guy finally defends and I flop two pair. Okay, so uh, straight draw, flush draw board against somebody that has been playing pretty passive as they should. I think we do better to size up here for value. Sizing down, I feel like only gets better when they will start raising a lot. Don't think this is a 100% necessary spot every time. Uh, could just let these two collide. But uh, I don't think it's too bad. Everything I'm doing right now is relatively low risk as well with such a large chip lead, so. All right, well, unfortunately we have to call off the extra. Still have 30%, could be worse. Chop it up. Okay. Not all in or shove. Uh, do they shove like king jack if I raise? They'd probably call. Hmm. Oh, there goes my time bank. Oh my god. I need to get a. I need to get a grip, bro. Where's my time bank? I it's gone already. <sighs> Big bot. Big spot. Let's go. Down to three, baby. Nice that it was us as well. Nobody else chips up. GG to blotters. Lost the blind versus blind spot and then lost another one. Or maybe they would have folded. Who knows? I don't know. Is King Nine of Hearts a fold for 18 BBB? So their jamming range with a shorter stack I think will be kind of tight. And I can pick up like infinite really profitable spots on my own by raising and shoving and putting pressure on. So I don't I don't think taking a break even or you know slightly plus or minus EV either way. I don't think that's gonna be worth it, considering how many positive EV spots or better spots I'm gonna pick up as the chip leader. And, and again, if they were the short stack, maybe a little different, but uh, with the shorter stack, their range also gets tighter, so. We have a monster here. Still have a monster. 
board pairs. They could have a very. It would be. It would have to be a very sneaky full house. Like. Yeah. I mean, it would have to be extremely sneaky. You know, obviously queens, jacks, fives all go in pre-flop. Five, six might just fold the flop if they have five, six clubs. Queens, like they're gonna fast play the turn sometimes. So we essentially should have the nuts here against their range. Priced in against the big blind here. He's got a pair. Flop the king. Oof, that does things make that makes things a lot simpler, to be fair. Wants a deal, eh? How does the deal how do deals work on ACR? I don't know. Okay to still have a raising range here. All right, we're just going to ship it here. <laughs> looks very strong. Can have some bluffs, but yeah, it looks pretty strong. <laughs> Definitely. No time, mate. Got to go. Nice. It's kind of a good learning hand there. That they have the small... Uh, that, that small raise sizing on those boards. Like, Mephisto, thank you very much for the good luck. Is there a way to turn off the double or nothing? So, I know I didn't say anything during that hand, but uh, I was thinking that going for a big check raise on the turn would be kind of nice. On this board. Um, so that was my plan. Just went for a check raise. And uh, on the river, we don't love it. I mean, I feel like this, this is the type of dude that would check a jack twice quite a bit. I block, you know, the seven, which I want to call. Yeah, just going for the triple check. I mean, we could have easily just bet turn, bet river, and that could have worked out, obviously. But I think it's a yeah, interesting spot on the turn to maybe go for that. If you vote skip break, do you get time bank? I'm going to need to take some of the break anyway, but yeah, I'm assuming you do. Could put in a bigger bet here too with the king seven, I think, but. I think double barreling our better sevens is decent strategy. <sighs> it's not a great river. Oh, that's too bad. I think we're going to play a 4-bet here. Got a fold. I have queen high. I've seen a reasonable amount of 3-betting from Eddie. Or, I just read his name as Eddie. It's once will die. We've seen 3-bets. Seen a bluff already too, so I think it's okay to have a four bet once in a while. Let's check this. All right, chat, patience. I know we want to win. I want to win. Everyone wants to win, but we gotta, we gotta play. Just we're just gonna play for another as long as it takes, man. Check, check. Don't feel like it's gonna be too bad to bluff quite a bit against check backs. So We've seen a lot of like. Weak king x, queen x, queen x type checkbacks. So. Ace on the river. I mean, I think if we bluff here, we want to bluff like this. Check back. Just going after queen nine, jack nine, nine seven, six seven. I'm not saying they play all these draws this way, at like full frequency or anything, but. Going after, you know, a three that picked up a pair, maybe a five just gives us credit here for an eight or a ten or something. 
called King High. Sticky. Sticky. But yeah, I don't think we want to bluff very big there, honestly. I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be better than uh, that sizing. We could also just give up, but this guy's just getting it done so far. Getting it done. We have aces though. We have aces. Holy shit, I have to go to bed. Got work in three hours. Nice run, Matt. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. You wish me good luck when I had the birds, so it's a double dose. All right, we see a limp call. Almost timed out. King Jack nine. You know, this hand I actually don't think is like terrible to raise fold. With how, with how limp raise ranges actually look, I actually think it does okay. Um, interesting, 975 out of position. Start with a check. Insane chat telling Matt what to do with his heads up. I no, chat is actually fine. Chat is fine. We're okay. We are okay up until this point. Okay, I don't hate the turn. I mean it's not perfect, but it's actually decent. Gonna be very happy to call the turn. If they size down, we might want to raise. Maybe. Okay, they size up. Slightly over half. Gotta be sticky here. We love the river. We love it. It's a very good run out for check call, check call. I mean, 6-4, yeah, 6-4 suited against 4x pre. God, I hope I win this pot right now. I don't know if I can get away from it. Check call, check call, this run out. It's very good. Not perfect, but good. Let's go. Swing and a miss. I feel like a stab at some frequency is possible, but... Fuck yes! Nice Riviera! Get on my boat! Take me down the Riviera! I'll lose the Ace Queen or some bullshit. Nice. Got there against the three. Man, this guy, by the way, uh, speaking of time bank, if there's anybody worse at using their time bank than me, it's this guy. This guy scares me every time I see it happen. Gonna play small bet here actually. Maybe induce some raises. We have the equity pretty locked up. This guy has raised the turn a few times. I mean, it's probably more accurate to bet big, but we have done what we've done. So if I small bet turn and big bet river, am I to be believed? Am I to be believed often on the six? No, I think we just bet pretty big here. That's fine. Snap call, king jack, nice. This guy is so he just doesn't even doesn't even think about raising the turn. This guy, man. Still the lead, I guess. We have that going for us. <laughs> guess that's a good. I mean, we have a good hand. The queen is a good hand here. I could see them definitely having some ace-x that checks the flop, but we have a good hand. Definitely. <laughs> it's 
just has just always has the better hand he just always has the better hand man every time take a flop here queen eight second pair if i was playing against somebody else i might be like semi-confident here i've never seen this dude miss this guy's the goat at hitting pairs and I hope I'm wrong. I hope, for God's sakes, that I'm wrong here and I just have the best hand. We're going to call at least once. Often twice, but we need to analyze the situation. All right, pick up a heart. Got to call again. I'd say we're somewhat happy to call again against their range, but not thrilled against like a eight big blind bet here. It's uh, We see check. Hmm. I can actually bet turn. What? Okay, I'm gonna check back. Too slow. I prefer the. I do prefer the turn check. Actually, I like a check. <laughs> you have become disconnected. Wait, why was the felt different? Or maybe it wasn't. I just had a green. Okay, we're in. RNG's on my side now. Whatever that was, that voodoo magic. Like I need to stand up here. My posture of sitting down is just so bad. <clears throat> Been sitting for too long today. I'm gonna assume that we're bluffing like really like weak and random here. King of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is not bad against the checking range. I mean this guy probably has fucking pocket fours. Like I never this guy just always has something that's not what I think it is, but that's a good turn. Really good turn. Really good turn. Don't do me dirty. Just call. Don't don't fold, but don't raise. Just call me. It's a weird flop for Queen Eight with a heart. Like it's like I'm so close to having. Feels like I should do something, but my hand is kind of garbage. Plays that sizing. I feel like against that sizing, if I had the Queen of Hearts, we do something, but maybe just fold this combo. I don't think this is like a, nah, yeah, let's check, let's check. Nice flop, nice flop. Nice flop, nice flop. Top pair, gutter ball. What up, Gummy2. Thank you, Gummy2, for the half year. Hey, calls with the three. Nice. It's a big pot. Start playing some shoves here. Less than 15. Wow. 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 Let's go. 50 thousand us dollars don't oh my god oh my god let's go let's go man yes oh my god that match as well that feels so rewarding no way no way we ship it man 50 g's We've been waiting. You guys have been waiting with me for something like this. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. That's it. What a day, man. What a fucking day.